When writing your own programs, you might wish to have uh, files that are opened in your application. Um, common examples of this would be the doc extension for Microsoft Word's files, um, the text extension, which is usually opened in Notepad, as well as uh, a variety of other media file extensions like videos, pictures, and uh, songs are opened in corresponding applications. So how would you do this for your own applications? Well, uh, there's a very simple way that Windows provides, and we're going to use that in this uh, tutorial. And then I may do a subsequent one where we uh, show how you do that programmatically if you were to uh, send your application to someone and have it automatically assigned. So for this one, we have a simple uh, quiz application. Um, the actual quiz part, it just uh, loads a file and it splits it into two lines. The first line has a statement and uh, the second line says whether the answer is yes or no. And if you get it right, then um, it says victory, otherwise it says failure. So how this works is um, we're going to have a parameter passed to our application. The current way to deal with parameters passed to applications is by accessing them via the number variables. So this is actually the variable one, as if it was the variable variable or any other name of a variable, this one is called one. It's kind of confusing, and usually the best thing to do when you're dealing with this is just to store it quickly in a variable. Um, remember to use the equals operator and not the colon equals operator for this because it's not an expression. Um, so we're going to save the name in quiz file path. Whenever you have um, an application mapped to a file extension, it will always be passed as the first parameter. So we're going to get a file path to whatever file was clicked on. Then here we're going to read that file into our data variable, and then we're going to run the quiz on that. So that's fairly simple. Um, we have this saved in our My Documents folder, and AutoHotKey, and Quizzer is the name of it. So um, in order for this to work, you need to have your script compiled. It doesn't matter where you save it on your computer. I'm just going to put it in the same folder as this. Now you have to create a file. So we have some here, um, and we're going to open them in Notepad to start with. So this is how uh, the file looks. It asks, uh, it gives you a statement, says there's no better application than Quizzer, and then gives you the answer to the statement. Um, so we want this to be opened in our application. So instead of opening it in Notepad, we'll open this, and we'll hit Browse. Now we're going to go and find where our application is saved, the executable, and we're going to use quizzer.exe. It must be an executable file, otherwise this will not work. So we have that selected, and make sure you choose always use the selected program to open this kind of file. And then you may hit OK. And you see that it's now running, and it'll say yes. And there is no better application than Quizzer, of course, so it's going to give us a failure message. And you'll see that now all the other files with the same .quiz extension, when you open them, they open in Quizzer as well. Is 5 plus 5 equal to 3 plus 7? Yes, it is. Victory. All right, so that's a very simple way to get all of your uh, file extensions for an application working. And it takes about three seconds to do on each computer that you'll be running this application on. All right, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.